I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Saturday morning. It's the 4th of May, the year 2024, and this is your friend, Angus Buckin, with a thought for the day. We start off in the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, and I'm reading verse 19. Therefore, brethren, having boldness to enter the holiest by the blood of Jesus. Boldness to enter into the holy of holies in the temple of the Lord. You know, for 15 centuries, that's 1,500 years, there was no access into the holy of holies in the temple in Jerusalem. But since the death and resurrection of our beloved Lord Jesus Christ, that curtain has been torn in two from top to bottom, and you and I are free to enter. Listen to this beautiful scripture in Hebrews 10, 23. Therefore, let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. The Lord has made a way for you, my dear friend, and for me. He's made a way for us to enter into the Holy of Holies, whereas before it was only the high priest that could enter once a year. And you know, it was such an absolute holy place that they would tie a rope around the ankle of the high priest because they could not go in there, and they would put bells on the edge of his garment. And while he was in the Holy of Holies ministering to the Lord, the bells would be ringing. If the bell stopped ringing, that means that the high priest had collapsed or had died, and they would pull him out backwards by the rope. It was such a very, very precious place. There were big signs up there, no entry. Have you ever seen those signs? No admittance, danger, the skull and the crossbones, high voltage electricity, dangerous. But Andrew Murray says the sign has been changed since the resurrection of Jesus Christ. It now says, enter in. The veil is torn. Free access. Anyone can come in. The holiest of holy places in the world is open. And you know, God is waiting for you and me. He's waiting to welcome us, my dear friend. Come in, he says. Come, and I will take you in my arms, into my ample bosom, and hug you, and love you, and have intimate fellowship with you. You don't need to be lonely. You don't need to be left out in the cold any longer because he has made a way, Jesus has made a way that we can have fellowship with our Creator, our Heavenly Father. Today, go in and spend time with him. He's waiting for you. Jesus bless you and have a lovely day. Goodbye.